Hey guys, uh, this is my two month, three week and six day update uh, since my first shot of tea. Um, things have been going really well um, as they have throughout everything so far. Um, I'm noticing significantly increased amount of facial hair coming in. I now have um, lots of stuff around here. Um, I also have hair coming in down here, which is kind of bizarre, but cool. Um, and all the way up here is starting to grow in a little bit as well. Um, I am having to get rid of this every couple of days still, which is great. And I'm sort of noticing a little bit of stuff coming in down the side and definitely here as well. So really happy with all the facial hair that's coming through. Um, my voice has dropped. Um, quite a bit and people are now quite frequently asking me if I'm sick when they talk to me uh, all the time um, so really happy with that uh, starting to get um, a bit of a rashy thing around here it's not it's not painful or it's not itchy or anything there's like little raised lumps up around the top part of my chest which is cool and my leg hair is growing in um, sort of around the tops of my legs as well as I'm getting a very fine dark covering on the upper half of my stomach um, before I had a, good, a bit of a goodie trail anyway but now I'm actually getting um, like this light covering of, of dark hair just sort of uh, peppered over the top of it which is really cool um, had really bad chest pains um, over the last two weeks for about two or three days straight and I just wanted to mention them in case it is something to do with the tea that nobody else has mentioned or I, I still to this day don't know what they were um, hoping it's nothing to do with my heart but I met up with another trans guy um, and he made a comment in passing that he was having sort of pains up here um, that he couldn't explain away either so I just thought I'd throw that in there as well for reference um, huge changes down south <laughs> it's it's almost like I woke up one morning and went holy shit where did that come from um, my, my lovely partner has nicknamed it the Penisaurus Rex <laughs> which I'm quite happy to go with the PSR um, I am probably you know in the previous post that I've mentioned I was um, saying that I was having to adjust myself here, there and everywhere and I was kind of a bit uncomfortable if I didn't that has gone into overdrive um, I am probably about four times larger in that area than I was when I first started tea and there is a significant extrusion where there wasn't an extrusion before um, it feels kind of really spongy and solid and there's just really sensitive really sensitive to anything like my underwear or anything else <laughs> um, and it's there's definite movement on the station downstairs which is cool um, I also smell different uh, not only in my my body sweat but uh, again downstairs um, and the it's kind of there's less lubrication because it's thicker it's like the, it's a lot it's a lot thicker than it was so um, it's gonna be interesting I think is it as things grow and change down there because I don't know how how other, how, how other trans guys are comfortable in their underwear because at the moment I'm just kind of not most of the time um, uh, operational and non tea kind of stuff um, met up went to a went to a tea trans guy um, social club night here in um, Sydney probably around about a f three weeks ago really uncomfortable I spent most of the night um, kind of backed into my shell in the corner because I don't bind and most of the other guys out there seem to bind and seem to do it reasonably well regardless of whether they're large or not and I've just made the decision not to do it because I don't want to cause any damage um, really and that kind of sucks when you're Pretty much any person at the table aside from your partner with boobs so and everyone kind of knew themselves knew each other there and I, I just kind of sat in the corner and played with my iPhone for most of the night and then we left um, what was good about that though is I could see throughout um, 
many of the attendees at various stages of transition and I'm really impressed. Some of the like guys who've been on tea for a little while, brilliant, just so good. So um, it was good in that respect and I kind of was able to pick out a few um, names and faces and stuff and I'll like, hunt around and see if I can find them on YouTube and, and whatnot. Um, last Friday, uh, Mel and I were asked to come to a um, an actual FTM support night. So um, Mel's been working with um, a lady at the Gender Centre in Sydney called Jo and they kind of got together and had some ideas about sort of, you know, starting one of these things and, and what they could do in that kind of gear. And um, it was pretty good. There was about seven to ten guys, seven, seven guys there. And um, had some really interesting stories from the people who, who spoke um, that kind of opened my eyes in the way that how fluid gender can really be. Like, I I personally just feel like a straight dude with some unfortunate body parts. Um, but there's people out there who just range the spectrum of, of what it really means to be a, a male or a female. Um, and it was really good to, to kind of, again, hear people, how they'd gotten where they were and how they'd come out to... The, the topic was coming out to your environment and it was kind of good to, to hear all that from other people to see how they'd handled it. Like, I take a really educational bent on my coming out. I hate, I hate the word coming out because, to me, it sounds like you're doing something naughty. Um, whereas, for me, it's just about, I suppose, showing people the real me and educating them as to what it means to be who I am and where I am and what I've got. Um, and I just haven't had a negative experience yet. So I, uh, basically when it was my turn to talk, I, I talked about the fact that, um, I first of all take them through, uh, GID, gender identity, identity disorder. Um, a lot of people don't like, again, calling it that, but for me, that's, that's a way of labeling it from a clinical perspective. So people understand it's an actual condition. Um, and then I explain to them, you know, exactly how disconnected I am from my body um, and what it really means to feel like me rattling around inside this shell. And then talk about the way that I'm going to address it from a, a perspective of, you know, here's what the hormones will do to me, here's the time frame, here's what will happen to me visually and, and you know, mentally and all that sort of stuff. And then... Um, one of the things that I think people kind of found interesting, I play a bit of a game with the people that once, once they're comfortable with the concept of everything, just to really lock it home visually. I have a sheet of, um, of paper that I have pictures of 10 guys on and they're all numbered one through 10. And I basically say, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pick out from this list um, the people on here who were born biologically female and those who were born biologically male. And they kind of, they go through the whole, Thing and they give me their answers and then I tell them that they're all born biologically female and that's for me where the light just goes and they see what a massive difference it really means to you know put the right hormones where they're supposed to go because in my mind we're all just chemicals and meat and the chemicals just well, the hormones just tell the meat what to do so you know I've I've only had four shots of um, sustenin 100 and my voice is dropping and I'm getting facial hair and all that sort of stuff so I'm changing and I'm changing into what I always was going to grow up to be not what I ended up being before this transition so but uh, yeah life's good everything's happening pretty well um, I've given up trying to update weekly because my life just isn't allowing for it um, but I will I will keep updating you guys as often as I can and um, hopefully you stay watching and leave me some feedback so thanks for watching and uh, I will catch you guys the next time I can stop by and do an update. See you later.